nomination for uh, cemetery commission. Okay. Motion been made. And second. And second, Mr. Penner. We we did total of the opposite two weeks ago. We said we wouldn't vote on it, even though there were people that were had already served or had served on other commissions. So we either need to wait the two weeks that we've waited on all the others or throw it up in the air every time we decide to do it differently. Mr. DeVito? We didn't pass any law uh, ordinance resolution to that effect. We okay. make these decisions. Okay. As, the council as they can change their mind in a motion. Mr. Chair? Well, I think the other thing, too, is it appears that uh, the <coughs> Uh, the term expires February the 15th and so that position needs to be filled and, yes, and there's no reason for it to wait because he has been and it has been <clears throat> historically uh, the council has approved people uh, who have served in that position to, that have been renominated without having to make wait wait two weeks so we're not setting a precedent and Mr. DeVito, would you restate your motion, please? Uh, move to accept uh, Frank Green uh, to the cemetery position number four. Motion made, and there was a second. Who? Second. You say, Miss? Any other discussion on it? I guess it's the expiration date. Mr. Pound, do you have anything? I just wanted to okay. what the expiration date was. Fine. Uh, we vote on it. All in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, Mr. Green's back on the cemetery commission. Anything else in the committees, commissions? Yes, sir. I don't know if this would be appropriate as far as the procedures at this table. Uh, in the past, well, I'd like to make a motion that we could discuss procedures regarding commissions and department head reports at this time. Okay. Motion been made to discuss. Second. Procedure. Made and seconded. Go ahead. Uh, <coughs> As Mr. Barry can attest to, uh, about six years ago when I first started coming to these meetings, and I have since found it very helpful, I have yet to see too many department heads other than our finance director at meetings giving reports other than this, the finance director and the CAPC director on a regular basis. And I believe and I feel wholeheartedly that this table needs to know what is going on in the departments that <coughs> there could be a schedule that either you set up as the administrative head of the city uh, that the re reporting of the commissions and the department heads be brought to this table at least on a rotational basis during the year so we know what's going on okay do you have some kind of timeline you're thinking about as far as how often? You want this quarterly? Well, if if Every they other. if they t if you normally they had what? Miss Perry, do you remember how many exactly you had? There was like a schedule of one or two uh, department heads, one one department head, one commission at each meeting, rotating through the the departments until it started over again. Let me research that and see what would be most productive for you the city. Any other discussion on it? All right. Most have been made in this balance. Go ahead. It says here in our manual, Chapter 2.48, Section 2.48.04C, 2 and this is just for instance, the, it's the police department, the chief of police shall be following the end of each calendar month submit to the council a written report on all activities and transactions of the department during the month. So this says that he should do it monthly. Um, I would have to check and see if the other say, others say that they should do it monthly as well. But, but for the police department it says that he shall submit to the council a written report on all activities and transactions of the department during the month. So that says monthly. He should be coming to just bring us up to speed monthly. Okay, do you want the written reports or you want an in-person report? It'd probably be easier to do a written report. How does the council feel about that? 
I'd settle for uh, it says submit a written report. Written report monthly um, would be nice for him to come perhaps quarterly, and 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 see our happy smiling faces and give us a okay. verbal report. May I add to this? Yes, ma'am. Um, doing a breakdown of all of the departments and commissions that fall within our reach. Um, we're looking a lot of, and we know this, a lot of different entities that we need to gather information from. Um, definitely, we need written reports, but I also believe that maybe every other month we could have a one or two of the department heads come and speak to us because we know what's given to us written is uh, can be missing nuances mm -hmm. and what's really happening in the department and I think that combining the two might work best where we set a specific date for written reports through all of the departments uh, I can send you a list of all this if you need of all the departments and then set up a, a date schedule to meet with them. Here at the council uh, meeting? Here or, or at a workshop even. A workshop? Mm -hmm. What's the council's wish on that, Mr. Powell? It, it does seem as an observer and, and being on the planning commission most of that time, uh, <coughs> it was very helpful to have that information. <coughs> given to us, given to the council, council table. I remember many times a billing official giving a, a report that, you know, X number of billing permits mm -hmm. have been issued. Uh, mm -hmm. These were the upcoming grease trap inspections, whatever the case might be. And, and basically <clears throat> for the last, well, there's been one hospital commission report given to council in the last four years. Okay. And, and that to me is not something that I would like to see continued uh, from any commission or any department head. And along with that, um, along the same vein, along with them reporting, I believe that if they have an issue before council that they ought to be here. To me, it would have been important enough, for example, the last meeting, two meetings, trying to push through the ordinance on the floodplain ordinance, uh, lack of a department head through the whole process, had there been any questions, uh, could have potentially stopped that at the last minute by the department head not being here. Okay. Why don't we start with the written reports and see how that goes for a few months and then if we need to change to personal appearance then we can do that also. How's council feel about that? I think motion to submit written reports. No. Motion on a monthly, made. On a monthly basis. Monthly. Okay. A second. Okay, made and seconded. Any other discussion? Uh, let's have a date for that monthly report. The last meeting. The last you meeting. You have the last one or the first one, so that's up. It's your call. Okay. Pick second a date. meeting. Sorry? I said pick a date. Pick a date. Uh, second. If we continue with the first and third meetings and we want to report from the month before, I think the, the second meeting of the month would be appropriate, okay. whatever that date might be. Okay, motion been amended to the second meeting date of the month. Any discussion on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, we'll have written reports, second meeting of the month. Any other comments about the uh, commissions, committees? If not, we'll move on to public comment. Mr. Satori, coming back. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Council, community. Uh, I just have two issues I wanted to address. Uh, first, uh, shortly, I see that the uh, discussion of the uh, Auditorium Commission is still on your agenda, and I would just like to remind you that the, uh, the CAPC voted last fall to continue uh, with their management of the auditorium through this year. 
And while they're undergoing all their restructuring and recommitment to their responsibilities and activities, I would recommend that you allow them to go ahead and, and form a committee or do whatever they're going to do at that commission. That is your commission that's been uh, managing the auditorium, and hopefully they'll do a much better job in the coming year, and it won't be uh, any problem for you in having to deal with this ordinance. And so I, I would ask that you go ahead and let the CAPC uh, continue with the auditorium through this year. Uh, the second item is that I would like to ask the council to add uh, the sidewalk, uh, discussion of the sidewalks and sidewalk ordinances uh, to your next meeting. Um, it's uh, with what's been done across the street uh, from my gallery up there, uh, we have a lot of property owners who are repairing their limestone sidewalks downtown and we applaud them for doing that. But in the case across from me, they have removed a uh, 120-year-old historic limestone, which was in excellent condition. I have photographs of all of it. It's uh, $20,000 worth of limestone is now gone and been replaced with $2,000 worth of concrete, which looks really bad. And if we look at the ADA requirements, they uh, allow for repair of historic sidewalks. But whenever you remove and replace a sidewalk, then they have other guidelines that go into place, which require like flush entries between the sidewalk and the threshold of a business. And there's, there's a lot more to it. And it's a lot more complicated when you remove it, of which the new sidewalk that's just been poured there uh, yesterday I do not believe will uh, will uh, meet ADA guidelines but aside from that the stones that were removed were way too valuable to us historically to have allowed them to just be removed they were not damaged they were not in need of replacement they were in excellent condition and uh, and here we are we're going to be here 20 years from now when people are trying to restore the historic nature of our city and whoever owns those properties over there are going to be looking at a coal gray sidewalk concrete rather than the beautiful limestone they had and there's also discussion needs to be made of the coloring I mean if any of you walk up and down the streets as I know you all have you know that limestone is brown it's not gray dark gray pencil graphite gray which is what has been thrown out there and so I think we still have a lot of problems with that and all I would ask is that you put it on your agenda for the next meeting and uh, and I will try to address some things for you at that time thank you thank you sir that is all we had on the public comments we'll move on to unfinished business need a moment <coughs> to discuss the written determination from municipal league regarding MJ sales retirement benefits. So moved. Motion been made. Is there a second? A second. Motion been made and seconded. Discussion. You should all have a copy of the letter that we were instructed to receive from Mr. Sean regarding this matter. If you don't have one, we'll make one available for you. Is there any discussion about the letter? Yes, ma'am. In a letter I received earlier from Mr. Schoen, he advised us 